Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Occupational Cancers. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Occupational Cancers are a serious problem in industry. An Occupational Cancer is defined as a cancer caused wholly or partly by exposure to a carcinogen at work. This is an awareness poster created for Occupational Cancers. Now what are the characteristics of occupational cancers? Occupational cancers appear after prolonged exposure. The period between exposure and development of disease may be as long as 10 to 25 years. The disease may develop even after cessation of exposure. The average age of incidence is earlier than that for cancer in general. The localization of tumors is remarkably constant in any one occupation. Now what are the various occupational cancers? The most important occupational cancers are skin cancer, lung cancer, cancer bladder and leukemia. Now let us see about skin cancer. Percival Pot first discovered cancer of scrotum occurring more in chimney sweeps in 1775. Skin cancers form 75% of all occupational cancers. The carcinogens responsible for skin cancer are coal tar, x-rays, certain oils and dyes. Skin cancers are seen in gas workers, coke oven workers, tar distilleries, oil refiners, dye stuff makers, road makers and industries associated with use of mineral oil, pitch, tar and related compounds. Now let us see about lung cancer. The carcinogens responsible for lung cancer are nickel, chromates, asbestos, coal tar, radioactive substances and cigarette smoking. Lung cancer is seen in gas industry, asbestos industry, nickel and chromium work, arsenic roasting plants and mining of radioactive substances like uranium. Now let us see about cancer bladder. It was first noted in aniline industry in 1895. The carcinogen responsible for cancer bladder is aromatic amines. Aromatic amines includes beta naphthalamines, benzidine, paraminodiphenyl, aramine and magenta. The industries associated with cancer bladder are dye stuffs and dyeing industry, rubber industry, gas industry and electric cable industry. Now let us see about leukemia or cancer of blood components. The carcinogens responsible for leukemia are benzol which is used as a solvent in many industries, rheingen rays and radioactive substances. It can appear long after exposure has ceased. Now how do you prevent occupational cancers? Occupational cancers can be prevented by control of industrial carcinogens by employing technical measures like exclusion of carcinogen from industry, well-designed buildings or machinery, and closed system of production. Medical examinations should be done periodically, inspection of factories should be done, notification of cancers should also be done, licensing of establishments, personal hygiene measures, education of workers and management and research are all various measures to prevent and control occupational cancers. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.